Hello, everybody! It's Vertical Sandwich! Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. Now, uh, it seems like we're 30 short. We are, we're 30 short. Thirty short from finishing this level, and it hasn't given us a clear idea. Oh, there's the end of the level. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, that's the end of the level, all right. But, well, we have to come back here anyway for Kite Kids, so... I'm going to be absolutely thrilled if we have all the gems, but I doubt it. I'm sure we missed something. But we missed less than 10. Oh, this is that earlier door. Well, that's fine. Did we miss exactly 10? No, we missed 9. Yeesh. Okay, well, whatever. Let's get out of here. And, uh, go get our new breath. Because we should have a new breath coming. Because I'm assuming we can't get up there until we get ice breath. Because we're going to have to freeze those kids to stand on them. If I remember correctly. Huh, there was a fluttering noise that was going on, and I thought maybe it was, like, one of my disc systems, like, making a noise, but it apparently is the game. There's a constant fluttering noise. I even muted my TV at one point to see if it would stop, and I could hear it uh, even with the TV muted, so it must be that loud through the headset, which was a little weird. So, here we go. Pyro, the magic of this sacred rune will grant you the power of electric breath. Electric breath it is! <laughs> it's kind of fun. Okay, so Electric Breath opens this gate, if I'm correct. Boom! All right, All right indeed. Okay. Thanks for the tutorial thing, Sparks. Okay, Electric Breath will also break pots. Good to know. Once you're in the water, press to dive below the surface and press. Okay. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Hey, it's Amy. Hey, it's Amy. Yeah, see him getting this like helicoptery fluttery sound that's pretty obnoxious. Ugh, not what I wanted. Ok, 
Okay, that's more like what I wanted, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Ouch, says Spyro. Spyro says ouch. Alright. What's your deal, buddy? You look like a pig. Boy, am I glad to see you. You might be able to get this boat to work if you had enough dragonflies. But there's savages on that island. Savages, I tell you. Fifteen. Okay. It's a lot of gems. And if everything's like a 5 and a 10. Oh, wait, was that a 2? Did that say 2? Yellows are 2? Can't be right. Okay, I think that's everything from under the water, right? Now well, let's just pretend it is for now. All right, let's go back up. So reds are one, blues are two. So much treasure. Now, oh, what do they do now? <laughs> Climbing is the best way to get yourself up those out of reach places, Spyro. Anytime you see a ladder like this, just jump up against it and grab on and use the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Sparks. Hey, it's Kanichi. Sure it is. Of course it's Kanichi. Who else would it be? Alright. Telling you, there's have to be ten. They have to be. Oh, nice. Okay, well that was our extra life one. Now it looks like we don't... Yeah, it looks like we don't have to use the ladder at all. Oh yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's five and two is what it comes up as, which is weird. Wow, that's a lot of dragonflies, Spyro. You should have no problem getting this here UFO to work now. Hop aboard, but beware the space cows. They're everywhere, everywhere. Okay, there are space cows everywhere. Apparently, so uh, we're gonna take care of that. We're going to get rid of some space cows. So we did find 330 treasure in the overworld. And that brings our total up to 1220. Which is fine by me. Fine by me, I say. Okay. Come on, space cows. Don't ever put the moon on a repeating backdrop. Uh... Oh!
So I did not think that this was a level. Because why would I think that? I actually thought it was a minigame. I thought it was a Space Cow minigame. Because that's what you would logically think. Because I was like, oh, I can get in the UFO and shoot Space Cows. Hang Spyro! Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. And I'm afraid I'm next. Don't worry, I'll help you. <laughs> will we? You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go around back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Oh, okay. Will do. <laughs> Okay, that was a little painful. Man, those guys are... It's hard to avoid what they shoot. Alright. Give me some fodder, please. It'll do. There we go. Hey, it's Akira. It's Akira. So happy. I was worried about Akira. I was, I was. Alright, ten lives. Youch indeed, Spyro. Youch indeed. Okay, so that's full life for us. Alright, so now we should just have to get back up. I should check to see where we're at. That would be helpful information. Crop Circle Country. Okay, well, it looks like this was our, uh, our next... It looks like this was our next, uh, our next stop. Unless the Atlas rearranges itself based on where we go. Oh man, the, you know, the amount of gems we miss is is a little terrifying. Okay, we've been up there. That's gonna be where the level circles around to. I can tell. Cause I'm psychic. See, like, how did I miss that one? Yeah, it is 10. Okay, good. Confirmation on the 10. I don't know how- oh, I do know how we're gonna get up there. By killing this guy. That's how. Nope. Huh. 
Well, that was not pleasant. Not what I wanted at all. I understand that that guy probably has like a mini game. You know. The fact that you can be right under these dumb things. There must be a soft spot in your animation for him. Wow, their pattern is not incredibly obvious. Okay. Oh, finally. Hey, it's Mitnick. Oh, Mitnick. Alright, when we come back, more of this. Bye, everybody.